Lagos is a city that beats with a thousand hearts as the nation's historic hub of trade and commerce, where tradition meets innovation, Lagos has evolved from a humble 15th century Yoruba settlement to a sub-Saharan African powerhouse, a beacon of excellence, setting the pace for others to follow. Amade Doja, Salam Adeni, your guide to the city's vibrant stories inside Lagos. <laughs> The Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, has launched three initiatives to drive financial inclusion in the country as part of its ongoing efforts to achieve financial inclusion goals and ensure a more inclusive financial system. These initiatives were unveiled at the second edition of the International Financial Inclusion Conference, IFIC, in Lagos, themed Inclusive Growth, Harnessing Inclusion for Economic Development. We were there. This is an engagement platform for regulatory institutions, financial services providers, development partners and other financial inclusion ecosystem players and stakeholders to foster dialogue around contemporary developments, identify challenges to achieving financial inclusion goals and propose solutions to ensure a more inclusive financial system. The good thing is I can check the call. Speakers at this event highlighted the fact that women and youth, including small and medium enterprises, were the most financially included categories of people in Nigeria. Central Bank of Nigeria Governor Olayemi Kadosu emphasized that the new capital requirement for banks will boost their ability to drive financial inclusion, enabling them to take on greater risk in underserved markets. One of the most transformative tools for financial inclusion has been the adoption of digital payment channels leveraging mobile technology. Nigeria's mobile phone penetration provides an unprecedented opportunity to expand access to financial services. Interoperable payment platforms have enabled millions of Nigerians to send payments, save and access credit without traditional bank accounts. Technological advances have democratized financial services, allowing people in remote areas to participate in the economy, and this government is committed to creating an enabling environment for these innovations to thrive through policies that foster competition, innovation, and financial stability. Governor Babajide Sonwulu, who was represented by his deputy, Obafemi Hamzat, highlighted the importance of President Bolatinobu's $1 trillion economic drive in promoting inclusion. The opportunity is there. Our young people, they are doing great things, you know, and we should just empower them more. So as Lagos, we took 12, last year I think it was 22, if we can, working with CBA, we can take 60. Possibility of them becoming companies, that's maybe 15 companies, employing people. That's how to grow. It's the only way for us to actually grow. And it's important that we understand that that is how we can actually include our young people. So for financial inclusion is ultimately about people, lifting our people out of poverty, empowering them to make choices and enable them to build a better life for themselves and, of course, their family. So it is also about ensuring that the hard-working man in Kara Namuda, in Alimo Shaw, or in, uh, in Benin can contribute and benefit from the economic growth of our nation. 
IFIC is Nigeria's leading financial inclusion event hosted by the National Financial Inclusion Governance Committees. The 12th graduation ceremony of 1,200 upskilled tradesmen and artisans in Lagos State. For Governor Sonwolu, the training for the artisans and tradesmen is to create opportunities for them and make them to be more effective and efficient in their chosen fields so that they can become employers of labor. <laughs> I did both a bear. Uh, uh, uh. So, by virtue of the fact that I'm your governor and I'm happy with you, I'm sorry, the 15 million. That's a need. No, no, it's okay. We deserve it. It is not, it's not a gift. It's to help, it's to help the association to be able to support and encourage your membership. To be able to stand firm and know that this government works and works well for you. By engaging more hands in trade, the tradesmen and artisans will reduce the number of unemployment. Governor Sonwulu also urged the artisans to take advantage of the State Employment Trust Fund. You that are employing two, three, four people, you are the backbone of the economy. You are the ones that give hope to people that believe they don't have hope again. And so you are the real changers. You are the real renewed hope that Mr. President is talking about. And so we're happy that today we're celebrating you and we're sorting you out. Earlier in his speech, the State Commissioner for Wealth Creation and Employment said the training was to equip the artisans with technical skills to enhance their efficiency, give them vital information that will bring about innovation in their skills. The training. We also ensure that artisans become 21st century compliance in line with the Fit Plus agenda, which includes social inclusion, gender equality, and youth empowerment. If you reach Lagos, better life for Lagos, better hope for Lagos, so better day for Lagos. Reach Lagos, better life for Lagos, better hope for Lagos, better day for Lagos. of wives of Lagos State officials, council, led by its chairperson and wife of the Lagos State Governor, Ibijo Kesonwulu, in partnership with the Ministry of Local Government, Chief Tensi Affairs and Rural Development, are here to educate market leaders on the importance of maintaining clean and secure environments. 
prioritizing sanitation and hygiene in public spaces, particularly in markets where people gather daily, is crucial. The governor's wife said promoting cleanliness and security, market leaders can contribute to healthier community and support economic growth. Improving waste management and public health in markets, a recipe for economic growth and prosperity in Lagos Central Senatorial District. We keep on emphasizing improvement, improvement, improvement. And that is what we are doing. And that is why we have to keep on repeating this exercise. We have a good relationship with our um, police officers. And she mentioned something about the community policing in every area. And I'm sure they work hand in hand with the CDA and CDC and also the market to ensure the safety of lives and property in the community. And all these have resulted in the decrease in cases of fire outbreaks in our markets. This edition, like every other edition, is targeted at improving hygiene in our markets. Hence the theme of this edition, improving waste management and public health in the markets. A recipe for economic growth and prosperity in Lagos Central Senatorial District. She also shed light on critical issues including the fight against drugs, out-of-school children and sexual and gender-based violence. Please watch your words, watch your children, your biological ones, the chemistry children, all the children are our children. There's something called community parenting. You might think it is dead, but it's alive. Some of us will still watch out for other people's children. Whether you call us mother hen, whether you call us poke nose, we will poke nose so that that child will not be left behind. That child will not be a vagabond. That is our prayer. She also launched the e-birth registration initiative in Lagos, emphasizing its significance of every child having a legal identity, which is essential for accessing social services, education, and health care. If you reach Lagos, better life for Lagos, better hope for Lagos, better day for Lagos, reach Lagos. Better life for Lagos, better hope for Lagos, better day for Lagos. Deputy Governor Obafemi Hamzat attended a special prayer session in Ekwe for victims of the November 11th accident, offering condolences to bereaved families and those undergoing medical treatment. I'm taking the entrance of uh, the Deputy Governor of Lagos State. Obafemi Hamzat was warmly received by politicians and traditional rulers in Ekwe, where a special prayer session was held in memory of the accident victims. Ta <laughs> The deputy governor emphasized that citizen safety is a shared responsibility, urging residents to support the government and traffic officials in combating reckless driving, overloading, and driving under the influence of alcohol. <laughs> Deputy Governor 
That deputy governor highlighted the state government's efforts to curb reckless driving. Unfortunately, you can't. Uh, when people now go and drink after the test, that test will not catch up. So, part of the problem is we are speeding and then people driving under the influence. Those are the issues that we have. Member of the Federal House of Representatives representing the Epe Federal Constituency, Honorable Wali Raji, and member of the Lagos State House of Assembly representing Epe Constituency 1, Honorable Abiodun Tobu, described the incident as painful and pathetic. As our family, you know what to do. A driver, to get the over under the influence, what you move, what you do, what you do. I mean, I respect you, you live on my cell. And you talk to motto, to maintain the motto, to get the shadow manager, to back by that day. You know, come over. I'm afraid to the moon, which will be. So these are some of the things that uh, we need to look at. And also, I want to see if I say, let's see, is it just enough? Kimoto, Koko, Yokopa, and Kadenike, Abu Alongi. The driver must be held responsible for negligence. And two, there must be compensation for our team who are affected. So these are some of the things to avoid or look and pay attention to. We need to share the kill of any steps that God will take. That will be the road to share more. At the time, motion here immediately. The artisan, the our governor, on the other face, very simple. On the bottom, so you know, he only on our low one. Akoko La Samba uh, Emergency Rescue Center at the Sofu Akoni Latibawa in Kupe adequately because La Sambos Oyekowa. So at the Sofu, we must equally have a trailer park. Trailer park. To the point, to the point, trailer park. Come, mama, park. Car, 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 car. The one bani lu one let us see. One jaka yes. One jack, I'm a week. I want to get a ticket if you want to one, sir. I did this off for a pair, and if I can win, you want to take law into their hand. Nibba, come back, look, no, you won't pay one, and let it come when you are over a pair. I want soldiers at the Pelow for coming out to make sure you survey the situation. This is not a time for speech making. You don't let me go for me or come in, but bet alone. I want you all, but I know all of them want. The tragic accident occurred on November 11, 2024, in Ayeturu area of Ekwe, involving a cement laden truck with brake failure, resulting in loss of lives and injuries. We pay our respect to the departed. May their souls find eternal peace. And that's all for this week's Inside Lagos. Stay informed, stay engaged. Join us next time. Amade Doja, Salam Adeniyi.